Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the All Smart RTG. And I know what some of you boys are about to say right now. Your food, I told you, you should have taken it from the icon swaps. Now listen, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I should have done, but it is done. And we have to take it on the chin. The hopes and dreams of pulling a Rud Hullet and R9 and Johan Cruyff, the risk didn't pay off. And looking at how we were performing in the five of the back in division one yesterday, inconsistent. It works but not all the time. And that's something that I've got to consider using as a backup formation instead of starting um, with a lack of stability in the defense. It's very, very open with the defenders, the midfielders. It's not the one right now. So I was in full um, uh, panic, like mayhem. I didn't know what I was doing with my squad going into the weekend league, which is well, starting today. Well, yesterday it would have been uh, tomorrow. So what I've done is I've looked for two solid CDMs. Now we've brought in the Pitbull, that absolute powerhouse, prime Essien, alongside the Young. So you've got the pace and power and really good uh, defensive ability. Then with the Young alongside him, not only can he chip in with a tackle, but he can push on through the middle. And that's why I'm gonna give him that license to roam free. So I like that already. It's allowed us to bring in a new unlock winger, Kubo, the Japanese winger from the La Liga. Why not? With some untradables that I had, you guys will say it's opportunity cost, which is fine, but it didn't really cost me anything um, we've got ourselves someone who has pace shooting ability passing stamina and dribbling it's just the composure and also I think it's the reactions that are a little bit on the low side but I did play a couple of games just to make sure that it is feeling good enough for the weekend league and I've got to say that yeah he, he is good but I need to play a few more games with him. So if you are enjoying the series, boys, please do leave a like. I've got some packs to go and open from the Kubo SBC. And if you're needing game codes, you trade your place, link can be found below. And if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, click the bell, turn on notifications to not miss a single episode. So I've got a few things to go over, packs to open, and we're gonna get into some weekly games with our squad. Let's go. So before we go and open these packs, there is one thing that I want to explain as to what I'm preparing to do on the RTG, and that's investing. Remember shortly after season one, we had that base icon SBC and the SBC cards or the fodder, where people don't know what fodder is. It's just like high rated, uh, unplayable cards that you would stick into SBC. So Bonucci, no one uses him. He's 86 rated. You stick him into a squad building challenge. So the base icon came out. Now the season two of icon swaps has pretty much finished there are a few people trying to get the last like squad battle ones to unlock an Essien or Vieira or whichever one you decided to go for so maybe next week or the week after we should be seeing the middle version of the icon SBC so a lot of this stuff is going to skyrocket in price so if we can get in early and start investing 15 16,000 coins into a Bonucci and he goes up to like 25 30,000 we're going to be making a lot of coins and that's why the 266 that i've got left i'm probably just going to start buying bonucci's and any other high rated cards that are quite cheap on the market i think that's worthwhile i haven't been doing as much investing as i would have wanted to but i've just been focusing on gameplay but van dyke he sold good but not so good because now i don't have a virgil and I'm back with Petit. Hey, don't judge, right? I had to, to fix the team, I had to go for a Petit, and then that allowed me to bring in Essien. But all will be shown in a second. But Virgil van Dijk, he was class. And everyone says to me, yo, there's no difference between the baby version, or sorry, not baby version, the regular version of Van Dijk versus the 92. Now, I don't know if that is true, but I don't have 600,000 to test it out right now. I would have loved a Virgil for this weekend, but I would rather an Essien in the midfield. So he stops people attacking the back four rather than my opponent actually getting past and causing me some problems. But the jumbo premium gold pack and the small rare gold players pack came from Kubo. So let's open them up, maybe bring back some of these coins, but we've got the new future star team two uh, dropping tonight. Uh, I have seen like Haaland being rumored, uh, Martinez that would look incredible in our team, having him as a striker, but it's getting chemistry with that guy. Like that's tough. Martinez, Argentina, Syria, like how? I don't have any Syria players. Or not that I would want to use. So yeah, that's going to be really, really tough. So we won't go for him. 
Um, Valverde probably uh, could find his way into the starting 11, but I don't know if I would want to play him alongside De Jong in the midfield. So, no, I think he's pretty pointless. It's just Haaland that's going to be very, very expensive. Now, I was thinking what EA could do, instead of dropping him into packs, have him as the, uh, what, objective card. So then along the way, you can upgrade his weak foot and skill moves. But someone said, nah, because he's going to be the one to sell packs, which is, yeah, probably a good point but that would be so nice Haaland with five star weak foot four star skills now that'd be too op he would be really good but those packs were average but as expected but i want to show you the stats with uh, kubo and i want to show you my team okay so because we don't desperately need Atal in our squad like what's the point of playing Atal off chemistry there is no need and Mendy is better than Atal but with Essien we were able to get him for I was patient we were able to get him for 1.3 million his market value right now is like 1 million 40 1 million 50 something like that uh, three games already played with the cards I've just stuck on a guardian chem style to improve his composure and I don't know if that's going to help him defensively. I just want to test it because he's already got the pace. He's got the physical. He's got the defending. Oh, he definitely has the defending. Uh, so I really hope that he just plays very, very well for us. I'm going to tell him to stay back, though. I don't want him pushing on. And then we've got Kubo that we unlocked. Um, I don't know exactly how much it costs. Like, the SBC is up at 100,000, but I didn't actually spend anything. So um, probably... Uh, like 30,000 is cost us in, in a couple of like tradable cards. Yeah, 30,000 for this uh, player. So four star, four star. He's going to be playing as a left attacking mid. Already scored a goal, which was nice. Um, but with what he's feeling like in game, he's just got really good control over the ball. Like very, very light. His passing is decent. And look at the curve and the short pass. So when he gets down that line, then I can just set it back to somebody else. His finishing is gonna be good enough and his acceleration is perfect, really. And the stamina is there. It's just the reactions and composure. But I just wanna like play make a little bit with him and, and bring in Kevin De Bruyne, bring in Mane and get a little bit more out of those. And it makes um, the team look a little bit better instead of using uh, regular Dembele. Hang on a minute though. Dembele's not on the bench. Jesus. Hold on. So Virgil has been sold and we've basically replaced Virgil with Essien. Now, I think that is a good move for the club right now. Well, I hope so. I hope you guys agree. It depends how well we play. And my custom tactics are all over the place, boys. <laughs> so, oh, no, I need to fit this. All right. So we're going to go play with this team. Essien, Kubo, step up. Maybe you guys will want to do him. Anyone interested in Kubo? Well, I'll let you know after today's episode. Let's do it. It is game one of the Weekend League. Foot champions, and that defense is stacked. Well done, Mane. Yo, oh, look at that. KDB, love that pass. Mane, oh, 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 damn. I kind of rushed the shot with uh, Mane. I can't deny that, boys. I am so open, and then damage Rory. That's the last person I want. Yes, well, please. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Everyone's uh, running to the box. Come on. Yeah, yeah, on the edge. Mane, little flick. First time. Rebound. Oh, I was not offside, was I? Yes, I was. Oh, please. I'm desperate for a goal. What well on Petit. Petit gets a lot of hate, but I tell you what, sometimes he does put in some really, really good uh, performances. And now we've got an, a quick attack. De, De Bruyne, De Bruyne, De Bruyne. You've got that. You've got that, Mane. No. Kubo, that's mine. Come on. Kubo, Kubo, go. Yes, Kubo. Oh, no. Maybe he needs um, a pace card. He's trying to switch that play. He's trying to find that Adama. And it's working very, very well for him. That's a great ball. What a block, Semedo, though. Fair play. That was wonderful positioning. No. Come on, big win. Damn it, Troy, boys. I'm going to lose my first game in the weekend league. I'm actually going to lose it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm playing the worst FIFA I've played all year. To be fair, it is a close game. I had a couple of chances myself coming off the post with Mane, and we've conceded from the first shot. So don't want to be too harsh on myself, but we need to create more. I'm going to go to my five at the back. Attacking wing backs. Overload ball side. Let's go at five at the back. Let's do it. I did say that I'm going to use this formation to get back into the game. I've been practicing with it. So let's see if it works. 
It's going to cause us some issues against the Damatore. Well done. I need to get those tackles in fast. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. KDB. This is a tough game. Yo, Mendy, get a rebound of some sort. All right, I'll take a corner. I'm just going to whip this in, boys. Uh, yeah, I've gone to my five at the back now. So Silva's playing right center mid. Kubo strike. In fact, you know what? Kubo, I'm going to take off. I'm going to take him off, boys. I'm going to bring on the savior, Dembele, and see if he changes the game. Kubo off. All right, let's just whip this one in. Go on, Blanc. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Keep, keep pressure up. See, now this guy... He's gone to his ultra, ultra D tactics. RBA through. Dembele. There is no point using any other card but Dembele. It's just evidence right now. This card is just completely broken on the game. Nice. Good ball. Come on, come on, Mendy. Adama Troy tracking back. Yeah, exactly. I thought, I thought so. Middle, come on, move that ball faster. Across goal. No, De Jong, De Jong, De Jong, De Jong. Come on, no. Oh, man, I've had a couple of half chances, though, in this game, and that there is a big one. Oh, that is too big to, to, to miss, and I'm going to concede straight away from it as well. Nah, no, well done, Oblak. Good save. Ah, oh, unlucky. Is he offside? No, it's a goal. I've lost the game, boys. I just couldn't put my chances in the back of the net. Mane in the first half of the post. Just then, De Jong couldn't do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dembele again. No! No way! Go, 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 go. De Bruyne. De Bruyne! <sighs> KDB. Prince Kevin De Bruyne. He's the prince. Come on, boys. All right, he's pressing start again. He's not happy with something. I'm not happy. I am not happy with the chances that I haven't taken. We're not going to lose our first game. This is the best time to score. I won't give him enough uh, time to get back into the game. Dembele. Dembele. Mane. No, again in this game. Nah, that is crazy. What have I seen? I cannot score properly. I, I, I should have had another three goals in this match. Well done, KDB. Little through ball. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I've kicked my water bottle over again. Half time and extra time. Um, wasn't really able to create too much though in uh, the first half. So what do I want to change? I don't really want to change anything. I got to make sure I track that down the line. Essien, oh, what an interception from Essien. That is huge go on that pass was like i don't see this is where it's gonna screw me up like that pass there is just completely off center and it shouldn't have been misplaced especially with the dion oh let's go ah no no kubo stop come on essien come on essien Power that up the pitch for us. To his feet. Dembele. That's a nice ball. Straight back to him. Through, through, through. Dembele. What a ball. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, boys. Big pass from Dembele. He's come on and he's just changed the game. That pass is clutch in the 120th minute. Wow. Um, first game in the weekend league full of emotions I thought I was going to lose when I conceded that second goal but the fighting spirit we can't take an L in the first game hell no 3-2 result good job then Bella game 2 and I don't think that I'm going to start off with the 5 at the back 4-2-3-1 and then switch yes Bernardo well played lovely step overs that's a penalty <gasps> De Jong that's a pen off the board incident I saw that go on Kubo. Oh, lovely ball, Kubo. On a plate. See, that is one of the reasons why I wanted to bring him into the squad to play and make better than Dembele. Now, will it feel like that in-game? No idea. But, yeah, the way he feels on the ball is nice. His pace, acceleration is good. I got a delivery coming very, very soon, and I think... Ah, uh, a matter of time. Yes. 
in a couple of seconds they're gonna be knocking at the door that timing though and he's gone right i gotta get a delivery well i don't know if he's here yet is he here i'm not sure it said that they were coming around and about this time so maybe i shouldn't go into another game he should be here any minute well that's what it says on amazon but boys 2-0 just about that first game was scary i thought that was going to be it uh, I was just going to accept the feat, but no, the fighting spirit to get back into that match and to switch up the formation because he was abusing the 4-3-3 attacking uh, variant. So with the one with the cow and then the two uh, wingers. Now with that, it was working. He was getting it down the line to Adama Traore. He even had Kubo in his team and he was finding him in uh, a bit of space. But as soon as we switched up to the five of the back, we defended the wings a little bit better and the creativity going forward, it definitely improved our overall game. So very important to have a plan B formation. And when I switch into that, I've got Essien playing as a center back. And, he, and he's insane. With that pace uh, to not get caught on the uh, counter attacks and stuff. So I think it's a good purchase that we went for him as well as when we're using the 4-2-3-1 he's rock solid in that CDM position. Kubo, if you're interested in uh, making uh, the purchase or the unlock, uh, what I would say is he's more of like um, possession based, trying to control the game, then do like the quick one twos. That is what I get from his style. Haven't really been able to properly try him in front of goal yet. Like the one uh, goal that I did score, that was in division rivals uh, yesterday. So yeah, with his acceleration, ability on the ball is definitely noticeable and his stamina is great i think he's going to work quite well as a left attacking mid for us and then when we do switch into the five at the back i can bring on dembele or whoever in that striker position but dembele man like can you even write that in the script dembele coming on saving the day in the first game <laughs> i don't know what's happening oh black no you know what this oh black I think that one plays worse than this one. I'm not even kidding. When I brought in the blue version of Rafael Varane, he was dodgy in the weekend league, and I think it's the blue virus. Something's happening. The coronavirus. No. No, definitely not. Uh, boys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like on today's video. I will see you uh, tomorrow. Maybe some bonus content with some future stars as well because the Team 2 is coming out tonight and I'm interested in trying a few of those players. So thank you for watching. Leave a like and I'll see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.